Hey, we made it through our, our third episode. <laughs> you know what that means? That means that this is going to be a very long, long series. You know, in terms of uh, how many episodes uh, we do. Yep, and we're going to keep on going. So, get ready, because this is going to be the best episode ever. Buckle up, because it is time once again for... The Wolf of This isn't random. This is going to be very serious. About a story of fruits and vegetables with a rabbit and a fox. Welcome to the Fruity Veggie Kingdom, where every fruits and vegetables grow and always be healthy at the same time. And whenever you start to grab one and eat one, they will start to grow back. They live in peace and harmony for all eternity. The place was ruled by a princess named Princess Cloudberry. She made a cloud made out of cloudberry so that she could see all the fruits and vegetables. Everything was very happy when she done it. Very good indeed for her. But until trouble came by by the evil dragon fruit, the banana dragon and robot pineapple wants to get the crown from her. Dragon fruit? I thought I banished you out from ages ago. It's Lord Dragon Fruit now. Lord? You're not even Lord of anything. Ha! <laughs> but my minions think that I'm Lord Dragon Fruit now. You must give me your crown, or else there will be consequences. My crown is the only thing that protects me through the whole entire kingdom ever since my father and my mother gave me birth. And I will not do that kind of bad things of this rightness. You will give me that crown and I will let you go for all eternity. And besides, I want to spice things up into this kingdom. I refuse! Well then, consequences time. <laughs> Get her. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ah! 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 Oh, honey, we're coming. Oh! Oh! They chopped her arm off as soon as he said so. I got her arm, boss! I got her arm! Yeah, it was so easy for me to rip it off with her. You see? You cannot even stop me, you fool! And when I return, you will give me the crown. <laughs> Her arm was replaced by a pirate's hook, and she was never be able to see it again, all because of the evil dragon fruit's command to her of the crown. But until years went by... Until they had another addition to the family, a baby girl named Cherry, who's a fox. I cannot believe it. I have my own little sister. That's right. And you must do what this kingdom has to do. So say hello to a fox named Cherry. 
can't believe that the princess in this kingdom has her very own little sister now. Yeah, well, that's her. She knows what she's doing. Um, she wa he was talking about her parents, not the, you know, I know, I know. You don't need to get me straight into that. And as years still went by, everyone in the fruity veggie kingdom appreciated the new baby that was here in this time of need in this kingdom. That the princess will always do her best to protect the lands. Until a new member came along, not to the family, but a man named Blueberry. Ah, oh, it is such a lovely day out. And I cannot believe I have to go back to mom and dad and my brother. Oh my! She's beautiful! He's in love with her! And she doesn't even know that. So he got a flower and wants to do some flirting. Um, excuse me. Oh, um, hello, stranger. The name's Blueberry. And, um, well, I really love your ears. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm Cherry. I'm one of the daughters of the princesses. I see. Uh, before I go, here. <gasps> oh, thank you. No problem. Farewell. <gasps> Cloudberry, where? Is she? I don't know, okay? And besides, I can't just go out in the kingdom and just look for her myself. How about mm, your mother? Hey, sweetie, come on and look out for your daughter. Um, do you mind? I'm counting my cash. So let me be Scrooge McKiwi for crap's sake. <sighs> Fine, I'll go look for her myself. Oh my crap, Cherry. You just met a guy that gave you this flower? Yeah? That is so romantic! Cherry's in love! Cherry's in love! Oh, come on, Turnip! Don't make me feel embarrassed! Well, come on! You gotta say that you are in love! Beat, please! Seriously, you guys. And you know, if she ever finds the man of her own, then he'll be the prince in this kingdom. Really, Salary? Oh, I sure hope so, Cherry. I mean, what else there is to there to lose? <laughs> Mom, Dad. You are never going to believe what happened. I fell in love with the princess's uh, sister. <gasps> that's great! Yeah, that's fantastic. And if you get married, we'll never see you again. Well, if that happens, then you have to really take on the case. A flower? A flower? Did you saw some other stranger again? I, it's not, she's not a stranger. Oh, really? Then what is that flower doing in the palm of your hands? Father, please, listen. Uh, maybe it's just a big, all oh, misunderstanding. Guys! I, I think I'm in love with that stranger. In love? Listen, I don't want you to be going out with this stranger. Why? Because he might be dangerous. You'll never know what might happen into the kingdom ever since dragon fruit. Shut up, Dad. Uh, sorry, sweetie. Sorry. And then... Mom! 
You give my sister back to me. Not unless you hand me the crown. Why? Oh, why? You're making this so hard for me. Don't listen to her. I mean, him. Like, if you really want to go that far. Silence! Now, give me the crown or else she dies. Oh, now you're making this even harder for me. No, sis. Have the crown. You could just get me out of here. No, I will never do that to you. So is that a yes? Fear thee not. I will come to save you. <laughs> you foolish brat. There's no way that you can save her. <gasps> it's my one true love. It's him? Carrot, broccoli, I'm gonna need your help. The princess's uh, sister has been kidnapped by um, the, the evil dragon fruit. And um, I'm gonna save the day. So I was wondering if you two can absolutely help me out. Wow. Now that is a big job and a big whole responsibility to do this. Come on, are you in? All right, we're in. Yeah, we're doing it. Sweet. You have no idea who you're messing with. The robot pineapple, the banana dragon, they are extremely powerful by the evil dragon fruit. And there's no way that you could defeat them in one go. If they're powerful or not, Tomato, I have to save my love. You have no idea what you're up against, my child. The only way to kill the Lord Dragon Fruit is to follow your conscience. My conscience? Yes, he will guide you whatever needs to be done. Okay, is it just me? Or am I seeing that looks so inappropriate? Um, take him to his conscience, eggplant. Everyone kept saying, like, you have no idea who you're messing with. They think that I can't beat them. I just don't know if I can. You will defeat him, Blueberry. All you just need is your heart and your soul keep moving forward and stay determined of who you are to save your love. The crown! The crown! It's mine! And I will make her my princess. No! Oh, no you don't. I have my friends and they're gonna help me defeat you. Um, what friends? Huh? <laughs> it's all up to you! <laughs> yeah, too scary! <sighs> Great. Carrot and broccoli just came with me into this trip of nothing. Yeah, let's do it! So ready, will he save his love? Or will the dragon fruit claim his victory? Find out in the movie called... And you must take the force of what it comes. Like her! Oh no! You're not gonna eat me because I know I'm carrot and you're a strawberry bunny rabbit that eats carrots, so don't even try to kill me. Keep going forward, my child. Ugh! The Fruity Veggie Kingdom. Coming soon. And this has been <laughs> the world of randomness. Yeah, three episodes in, and we're still rolling along. Casting shoes wouldn't have made this program possible without Nick at Night. 
And late night TV breaks? That's right, we fix it! <laughs> <laughs>